So much for British summer, eh? Welcome back to another video. So today we're using dark baits for a subtle approach so our baits can blend in. It's about two weeks ago I did a solo weekend. I'm woken up four in the morning, landed on this beautiful 20 pound common. The evening I arrived, a nice fizz and margin so I thought bait up. Sure enough, margin rod got the catch. I also targeted the island in front of me and I'd cruise around at some point. And yet again, the following morning, getting this banger of a mirror. I also tried the opposite margin, which unfortunately, let's just say, I didn't land the fish. I've got a fish, guys. That's a good start. Pulling hard. I thought it was one of these geese because there's loads of them. I just see your rod pollen. Where else did you have that? Uh, <coughs> sort of under the main tree on the corner. <coughs> corner spot for the win. Corner spot for the win. And it feels <coughs> like a carp. Huh? Not a bream not there. A bream. <laughs> I've broken the curse of bream. Lewis the bream king. Don't give me that title. <laughs> oh, you've heard it. <laughs> Guessing common or a mirror. Common? A 12 uh, pounder. If, you, if this hook hold is decent and you have a look at it, it might change your mind. What was this on, Les? This was on a good TT pop up and a multi rig. Ooh. And a lead slip. Back and get your bunting pants. Yeah, I'm... That one's fish. That one's Always. Couple hours, mirror in the net. Is that a low double? Yeah, but we take a mirror there, right? Like 13. 14. Lucky 13. Pounds of the sling, you're talking about 11. 11 pounds. I'd say 11. It's all right though, good looking fish. Yeah, cracking fish from Lewis. Very decent start. Rods were out, what, a few hours, weren't they? Oh, you, you swapped over that one though, didn't you? Yeah, I put it near the island. It was out in open water, but wasn't that confident in it. And the first fish on the Squid 2T mm -hmm. pop ups? Yeah. Not a bad start. Not bad. Hopefully many more to come. Well, when you get woken up to f***ing bream, I'm pretty sure it was the same one on there an hour ago. Well, the rain seemed to stop throughout the night and nothing really more was caught. Uh, about four in the morning, I think my rod went off, had a look, nothing really happened, so I left it. An hour later, goes off again, I look, I could see the rod tip getting, it was stopping. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna check that, and it went again, picked it up, 
um, in the margin rod, little broom, and it came off. So I actually lost the broom, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, but other than that, it wasn't really too much. Seems like the wind's picked up a bit more today, and I should think it's going to be a pretty windy day, and the forecast ain't on and off rain, so see how that does, really. So I decided to crush some boilies up and keep the margin baited up throughout the day, because, as you know, the carp do come close in. I've also decided to fish quite tight to the island, because I'm just hoping that the carp will come around there at some point. Is he in? Totally crazy, dude. <laughs> totally crazy. Man, are you in? You're in the snare, that's what you're in. I'm out of it. That's coming very quick. Please. He's literally just down there. Oh! He literally where he just swam out from. Oh, there we go, the margin one. Yeah. Make me want to go cyber down. Cyber fishing, more like a cyber blanking. <laughs> like, this is great banter. Alright, we'll see. <laughs> I'm nearly caught, I'm trying. That one was literally there like 20 minutes. That was on that double jump. Yeah. The mirror again. Is it? The season of Maybe it's my one. Do you know? Oh, that's quite nice, good. isn't it? What? Done well there. Little snowman. Is that what it was on? Yeah, King Prawn. King Prawn. Then that's good to be tea this time. Hmm, maybe I should switch up. That's a well nice mirror. Is in, in the net. Daytime margin. Carl, tell us what happened. Uh, I just cooked lunch. Yeah, I've done quite a lot running into this fish show twice. I assume it's this fish, but um, yeah, so I moved my right hand rod down the margin and 20 minutes later, ripped off. Done the and job. This fully skated. Very nice. The reveal. Uh, 11 pound 8. Decent. Not bad. Not bad for a margin one. The day was full of plenty of bird life, and as forecasted, the rain was on and off. And the wind was definitely high. <laughs> You in? Right. Am I? Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, oh, it's a pot. Uh, 
Oh, this is the one on the goose side as well. And it wasn't tied to the island either. I was not ready for this. My water was so close to being boiled, I turned my stove off. <laughs> I was not even playing around with it, just took it straight away. Mm. Told you, the night time bites for me. There you go, Shane. Your hard work paid off. Take anything. Oh, what's that line? Oh, it's Is it common? Oh, what's that line? I'm under it. Down there. Oh, what's the line? Jesus. That's the biggest one of the trip, I reckon. That's it, play it there. You got this, Peps. You know, it was Kyle. Well, back on chain. <laughs> there you go. You're under the line now. There you go. It's all good. Let's go. Oh, no blanking. All right, so this one was pretty out, what, half an hour, guys, do you think? Less? I don't know. It went, basically, I just reset up for the night. Had it a bit off the island. Squid 2T on it. Just clearing up. Just goes off. Yeah, decent carb. Nice comment. Saves the blank. Uh, probably a bit under 20, we've got to double check with that, but yeah, I'm happy, caught one. Now. First been resting for two hours. So, Lewis is the first ghosty. Decent one. Go on, Lewis, what happened? Yeah, it's the same place as the other one. Just catapulted a few boilies over the top. About 4 a.m. it ripped off. Lovely fish, though, one of the best in the lake. Yeah, he done pretty well there, to be fair. Just a mad fight for it as well. And uh, Carl was actually at the fish as well. Yeah. Been around for a little while. And uh, yeah, the big twist of it though, another rig in it. Two ribs. Yeah, so Lewis's one came out in the net and there was another one in there. So yeah, as you can see, like, there was damage on it, but oh, it's like being around, it survived, a little bit of warrior. Nice one, Lewis. Nice. There it goes. Yeah, so um, none of the margins haven't touched it, even though they got baited up all throughout the day. So it's not great, but yeah, Lewis had a bang ghosty there. Uh, I think I've, he said it was about four in the morning. So yeah, he done decent there, and it's the uh, the last day, so give it a couple more hours, see how we do, and hopefully some carp feed. Give us one more. That's a grub, Kyle. Bang him. Nice. Well, that duck is it? No, that was a run. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what he was doing. I was weird. I still got off the wee left in the bladder. <laughs> it actually feels a bit bigger. I don't know if it's just deceiving me, though. Ghosty, round two. 
Yeah, if you go through, yeah, they'll be. Mm. It's, the little, it's the little ones. Yeah, the little ones help the fire. What do you want to say in my comment now? What do you think? Yeah. They've all been in the same dog, by the way. Middle one? Mine was middle one as well. All three feet have been in the same area. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've always wanted to catch a mirror ghost suit. See? Ooh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, you can't get them. They're very wet. Very good. Sorry, here. Shades last bit. I'm in! I'm in! Much better than a brain, my boss. Oh my god, that's nice, man. That's nice, man. Yeah, people do lose it on that. No. Oh, unlucky. Sure, you just have to pour that bar. Damn. Well, it's never nice to end the video on a loss, but hey, safe to say, the subway approach produce some bangers of carp. Thanks for watching, be sure to click the subscribe button, don't forget to check the socials, see you in the next video.